One sec. I'll just take it off you now. Let's stop calling Tom, Mr. Window. Why, where's the GoPro? Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Have you got any explosives with you or? Yeah, well, oh, fuck yeah. We're not going to have them. Ding! Hello. Hello! That's fine, just put forward, they'll park you up. Hey, thank you very Cheers. much. Thank you. Every time that I went across to see you in Newcastle in the BMW, we got searched. What did you bring away in a little tight BMW? E36 is a Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just don't like demons, mate. That's what it is. It Bitches is. Bastards. Tom's getting searched because he looks sketchy. So with three of us and a ZX10 loaded up in the van, we were off on the slightly complicated journey to go and pick up something a bit more apex orientated. Now, given all the restrictions with our border at the minute, it was a bit of a pain to arrange getting back onto the island. So we thought we'll take a few days off. So we'll go get the bike and do a few more very important things. All right, where's the bar? Now I know a few of you might be thinking, ZX 10's going already? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll touch on that in a bit, but the, the short story is that it's not fun. I know. On an island with no national speed limit, it's not fun, but we'll touch on that in a minute. Now, besides the complications, thanks to Corona and our borders for making this trip, there was also further issues with the company that had the bike we were part Xing for. There was an issue in some of the engine work that was going on, and they tried to delay and postpone or even cancel the deal, but I was not having any of that. The only thing more complicated than getting off the island thanks to the Rona is me getting time off work. This trip had to happen now or it wasn't gonna happen for a while. And the stars were aligning, this was just too right. The ZX-10 was going, it was a bike that I think will take me to Bray Hill, it was going down. So we were off on our big old journey and from living on an island 32 miles long, it was a bit weird to hear sat-nav instructions like this. Continue for 35 miles. Getting are quite lenient with the size of number plates on Isle of Man. If you can read yeah. them, then they're not really that bossed. Yeah, they flat out said before, if we can read it, we're not going to get the tape measure out. No, no MOTs to get checked. No. No, no MOTs. My MP got a one, one by six. <laughs> one in, one in. Yeah, yeah no MOTs, no national limit. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Not chalices, are they? So we got down there to Osset in West Yorkshire and the company's race attraction and their sister company's Not Your Average Bikes. This is not some super commercial bollocks superstore. This is bikers dealing with bikes. So naturally, after we got the bike unloaded, we did some chatting. And then after we got the other bike loaded, we did some chatting. Top blokes, no messing around went through everything I could possibly need to know about the bike with the complications I was talking to the guy that was working on it for ages so that he just made sure nothing was gonna really cause me too many headaches I was happy to finish a bit of engine work I mean the first thing you do when you get a new bike is pull it apart anyway and give it a good check so if you've got anything to do with bikes or you're looking for a bike they deal with race bikes bikes that aren't your average sort of steady bike and the normal bikes or if you just want service and work, if you're anywhere near the area, give them a shout because these guys are just proper bikers and they deserve the business away from that commercial nonsense. So let's load up the bike.
Stay towards me. Yeah, you're on the side there. Yeah, I'll do that. I straight on that beat. Big push. And big push. And then <coughs> give her a shoe to this and look for the look to the thing. Ready? Yep. Oh, now just to clarify, because I know some people there think this is a bit iffy, swapping the ZX-10 for what looks like a very broken R6, but it's not. Uh, I was chatting to these guys for about a month online, just with the time scale of when we could get the boat, and part of their process of selling bikes is they do a dyno run and put the video on YouTube. Now it seems that also part of that process is that they delete the video after they sell the bikes. So I'm gonna see if I can get the video if they've still got it somewhere, because that'd be pretty ace. But it made 111 horsepower, which is more at the wheel than my Honda does at the crank. Um, and the damage that's happened with the engine was a stripped thread. Now rather than trying to rush it back together because uh, they had staff down and still had service customers coming through, it was fine. We worked out a deal and sort of left it, got it back together so that the engine was sealed, the body works off, which is, half of what makes it you know look um completely different to a bike and uh we went and picked it up now it's got a full exhaust system on it you know k-tech and olin suspension quick shifter clip-ons proper bodywork the only thing i can tell so far that it needs to go racing is a rain light um other than that she's good to go but we'll deal with that what we'll talk about is why the zx10 has to go and why I think that even on the Manx roads, a thousand cc is just too much. Now, I know what you're thinking, well, you must be slow, but it's, it's just not the same. I used to love going out on the roads, and if you've ever been over for One Way Mountain, let me tell you, you wanna come and try away from race periods, empty mountain road on a summer's Manx evening because it is just better. And you can go to the end, spin round, come back, banging gears, hammering red lines, screaming with what is no doubt other bikers out on the road. There's barely any traffic. You know, you can just get stuck in, hammer the twisties all the way, beautiful road, stopping only for food and fuel. And even when you stop for that, you can hear the bikes in the background. It is just fantastic. It's TT without a lot of the bullshit, you know, there's there's no 50 limits, there's no coppers everywhere, there's no massive amounts of traffic, you don't have to take the coast road back to Ramsey, it is an ace place to live. And then I did a track day, and for a while it was good. I still stand by track days being the best way you can learn how to push a bit on the bike, but even then there's some courtesy and you're only riding it 90%. And after four or five, it really started to pull away from the experience of riding on the road. It just didn't seem as good and the track day bug had bitten. Now, of course, I then took that to the next level and went racing. And racing is 100% pushing as hard as you can, taking little gaps wherever, you just go for it. And then coming back on the road, it was just really tame. Even when you get a nice clear mountain, if you somehow have no traffic at all, not one single car, it's six minutes of diluted riding. I had a, a bit of an epiphany on the ZX-10 when I took it out for its final ride. I was coming round veranda, exiting at about 130 mile an hour, and all I could think was, this is a bit naff. The bike had more, I had more. There was a complete lane all on the inside that I couldn't use because it's three blind corners and you don't know what's coming. And a thousand cc? You don't even get the joy of hammering through gears because it just picks up too fast and you're slowing down because the corners just arrived there. In the wrong gear, don't care, just wind on and it shifts. So racing and the fact that there's so much torque on a thousand really just sealed the deal on the road to me now. I have more fun blatting around on a KTM in town. So that's that. We're going back home for some house arrest because the current border restrictions mean we have to have our noses probed and we can't go outside until we get our test results back. Okay. And then head back. I, my arms are trapped at the minute, so no. That's going on forever. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Is that, Is that okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. And 20 hours later, we have negative results, freedom, so we could 
unload the van and get the bike out. So here she is next to what she's replacing. Sorry dear. Has a, a couple bits to do. It was obviously a track bike because it's got well no lights on. It's got full wrap belly pan as you'd expect. Um, it did have a reg plate which is gone. This needs to go away. Um, as I've just found out, it has a horn <coughs> and uh, a mystery switch. Now this, I think, is um, some kind of cut out ignition thing because if you've got a keyless bike and uh, you're parking it up somewhere, you kind of want to be able to shut it off. But yeah, so we will see what is happening. Um, next video I guess this is all about picking the bike up ZX10 is gone R6 is here and it should do me well for quite some time proper job makes more at the wheel than that did at the crank we'll see what happens yeah thanks for watching uh, we'll see you next time racing on the 18th <laughs>